guys and welcome back to the channel so following on from the previous video we are actually done harvest we've uh, combined all the wheat done all the barley done the peas so we're all done we're only a small farm so we sort of cracked on with it before the weather got too bad and uh, sort of got everything in the shed at 14 to 15 and a half moisture uh, we're happy with it it's sort of yielded three tonne to three and a half tonne an acre and the only thing I can think that's sort of wrong with it is the fact that the bushel weight's low it doesn't weigh as heavy everything doesn't weigh as heavy the barley, the wheat I don't know about the peas yet um, but yeah so we're actually we're actually done harvest nevertheless we've still got some combining to do and some grain carting to do we've got combining to do for a lovers farmer and uh, we've got some more combining to do for a neighbour as well because we're going to help them out so there will still be some more harvest videos yet to come even though we're done but the other day me and dad went to go and have a look at the all seat rate that are drilled I said in the previous video oh look it's coming up we can see it um yeah there's been a slight technical hitch when I say there's been a slight technical hitch here's a few pictures now so that's me re-drilling about three acres in one field and about two acres in another field why you ask why are you re-drilling it so there's me thinking i've done something wrong so the whole day yesterday i was thinking oh no i've done something wrong i was in a right mood absolute right mood um but then we found out what the problem is and you'll probably think ah right and i know as a person who watches my videos who put up a comment the other day i can't remember who it is who've got the same drill so there's probably something to look out for when i tell you what it is so the air intake which is on the back of the hopper hopefully i'll show you a picture it's on the back of the hopper and it sucks air in from outside into the fan and then the fan blows the seed down the tubes to the coulters but when I went to go around the back of the drill to check my seed check how much seed I've got left I used to scrape the uh, the fan intake off because it built up with soil if you looked on the previous video you'll see that on the drilling rate video naturally as you do I didn't think nothing of it but looking back now that was the problem the air intake was trying to suck air in but it was blocked up with dust and straw and that that's come out in the air and it, su it can't suck any air in therefore it's not blowing any air down to the coulters therefore I'm not getting no seed funny one isn't it if you think it's my mistake put it in the comments down below but I've had a word with a few different people and Lemkin have actually changed the design of where the air intake is. They've brought the air intake to the front of the hopper instead of the back. So to think about it, that's more logical because I can turn around and think, ah, it's just starting to bung up. I can go and clear it out. So if you think it's my fault, put it in the comments down below. It's one of them things, it's a mistake. I went and re-drilled it yesterday. Just hope we get some rain for it to come up now. I guess you live and learn. But anyways, we're just having a flail up today around these fields that's been cleared, it's been carted away. The straw's been carted away 
So we're just having a bit of a flail, a bit of a tidy up with the verges. We might get combining um, after dinner, but that looks a bit grey over there. Plus, we had a heavy dew last night and uh, the moisture will probably be high. So going back to the drill, what we're gonna do is move the air intake bolt it to the front of the hopper so I can see it. Fingers crossed we don't have that problem again. Also, if you are, or if you have, got a Lemkin Solitaire drill, and it's, I think it's 2010, 2011, uh, 2012, 2013, just look at where the air intake is, because that could be your problem if you're on the land like we are, really dusty land. I'll advise you to move it, otherwise you'll have big strips in your field that doesn't get no seed. This is uh, just one of them jobs that I don't mind doing really. You can see where you've been, you can see what you've done, it's tidying everything up. ready to go in and um, cultivate so this is just what we're on this morning maybe later in the day we might be combining or towards the end of next week so going back to our harvest and how we did I think we did okay, we did all right for what we've got. And just thinking ourselves thankful because I watch a lot of American YouTubers, Welker Farms, Millennial Farmer and Larson's Farm, who, especially Welker Farms, have struggled so far this year with their harvest because they got hailed out, they had a big hail storm and they're not getting no way near the yields of what they should be getting. So my thoughts go out to them and we're just lucky we've, we've sort of had the weather, we sort of haven't had the weather to have a, a, a good harvest but the only thing I can see was wrong is the, the bushel weights down because when we should when we should have had more sunlight basically further back in the year and that's what's got the uh, the bushel weight down. Other than that, the tons per acre look look spot on. Scottish today. Let me know in the comments how your harvest is going and whereabouts you are. Love to hear whereabouts you're watching from as well. Short little midweek video starting to do them now, sort of putting a video up Wednesday and the weekend, so stay tuned, hit the like and hit the subscribe.